Hello, I'm Clemency Burton-Hill and I'm the author of Year of Wonder, Classical Music for Every Day. And my highlights for January begin on the very first day of the new year, New Year's Day, and it is the Sanctus by J.S. Bach from his B minor mass. Now Bach is just the daddy, there's no other way for it. He wrote the blueprint for everything that was to come musically. Without him there'd be no jazz, there'd be no gospel, there'd be no blues, there'd be no hip hop, there'd be no grime seriously and of course he had a huge influence on classical composers too. His music is sometimes described as quite mathematical and because he's some old German guy that we see in pictures I think you can sometimes feel it's maybe a bit remote but when you actually listen to it it's so emotional. Bach knew grief, he knew love, he knew loss, he knew laughter and he manages to put it all in music. The everythingness of everything is here so let's start the year as we mean to go on. My next highlight for January comes on the 26th of the month and it's by a really cool Australian composer called Elena Katz Chernin. And this is called Unsent Love Letters and it's her homage to the French early 20th century composer Eric Satie, who was a real eccentric and after he died his friends finally broke into his apartment and they discovered all sorts of unexpected things and velvet suits and millions of umbrellas and two pianos stacked on top of each other but stacks and stacks and stacks of these unsent love letters that he'd written to his muse but never actually sent and I love how Elena Katz-Chernin takes that idea and runs with it herself. 